Hello everyone and welcome back to Skyrim. When we last left off, uh, oh, hello. Didn't even see him there. <gasps> he looks like an elder. That's why he's got the big weird tail thing. He might, mm, he might not be an elder. He might be an ancient. Anyway, uh, yeah. So I've gone back, sold all of our junk. I've leveled up a few times because I've um, leveled up our, think brain, think. Damn, this flu still has hold of me. Um, leveled up our enchanting, our smithing, and our uh, alchemy a little bit. I've <laughs> this is kind of getting a little bit annoying now because um, I've I've been trying to get a magical item that has frost damage on it, so I can break that item down and create um, Dakota's bow. Okay, now frost damage is the only power that I cannot find anywhere. It's getting a little bit ridiculous. I even spent about an hour yesterday going around loads of shops. Uh, actually, this morning that was. And I could not find anywhere that would sell me a cheap, crappy weapon with frost damage just so I could break it down and use it. Ugh. But anyway, uh, again, if anybody wants a weapon or a piece of armor or whatever named after them, just let me know and it will be done. Right, anyway, we've got a dragon <laughs> to slay. Where are you going to land, sir? Be careful. He's telling me to be careful. I think I walked into him. Whoa, it's a blood dragon. Yes, of course it is. Uh, what have we got on us? Nope. Probably not going to work very well. Well, let's get our orcish bow out. Right, let's turn this thing to a pincushion. And he's gone. Um, buddy, if you could... Oh, bloody hell. Well, we're going to have to wait for him to land. Come on, you. We really need the dragon rend shout. Dragon rend. Where did... Oh. Ah. Oh, hello. Oh, hi. It's nice of you to drop in that, even if it was just for one shot. But yes, uh, we the dragon wren shout is awesome because um, it doesn't actually hurt the dragon, but it forces them to land, which I'm sure you can imagine is really bloody handy. These blood dragons don't actually seem to be that hard. Come on, buddy. Whoa. Um. Okay. Okay, he seems to have crashed outside the walls. Uh, they have a tendency to do that when their health runs really low. The only problem is trying to get to him. So we have tons of gold anyway, again. Uh, and I'm really thinking... Damn it, we're stuck. Yeah, yeah, there we go. I'm really thinking about upgrading our equipment to ebony. Um, as Ebony is my favourite arm. Oh, don't tell me he's buggered off. Because he crashed outside of the... Uh, camp. Oh, oh, I can hear him. There you are, sir. Nice of you to alert me to your presence. You know, if he had kept quiet... Oh, listen to the music, man. So good. If he had kept quiet, probably wouldn't have noticed him. And that would have sucked. Because we need as many of these, um... Skulls, skulls, souls as possible. Uh, let's go. Let's slug a load of that. Um, potion of healing. There we go. I'm pretty sure I got some resist fire. Yeah, 29%. That do. Okay, buddy. Time to die. Give me your soul. Actually, really low on health. Uh, let's get back to food. We got loads of food as well. Ash hopper meat. Um, yeah. <laughs> Who would have thought it? That is food. Yummy. Uh, I also cooked up loads of potatoes. Potatoes seem to be an overpowered food because they don't require any salt or anything to cook. All you need is a raw potato and they restore 30 health and 20 stamina. That has been written down in my book of uninteresting things. Alright Lydia, this is mine. There we go. And our archery increased. <laughs> I like the way they ragdoll when they die. They kind of like jib out. Let's go for a healing. There we go. Lovely. Alright buddy, what you got for me this time? Elven arrows. We'll take those back. We'll take all the arrows because they don't actually weigh anything. Dragon bones, dragon scales, money. Leather boots of strength. Um, We'll take them because they are worth a lot of money. And I don't know if we can disenchant them. If we still need that power. Dragon soul absorbed. Wonderful. 
Who are you? Yep. It is I. Most of the game has been driven north by the Ashfall. Hmm. Take a look. Now we were just getting into this uh, Ashfall raw rabbit leg. Would take your pelt actually. No, they do weigh three. Maybe not. Because we have that quest yes, where we need to. to you. Thanks, buddy. Wonderful. Um, because we do actually have uh, to get ten for that bloke. Or that woman. Uh, and I think I've got about seven saved up at home now. So we're almost there with that quest. Anyway. Um, oh, let's level up first. I don't know how many levels we got. It might be a few. Let's go for some health. Uh, let's get some stamina. So just the two levels. Okay. <coughs> um, so what should we level? Um, considering I can see enchanting being... A fairly big thing, at least for a while. Soul gems provide. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Death blows to creatures, but not people. Trap five percent. That is a really, really powerful thing. Uh, if you're going to be using a lot of enchanted weapons, so let's grab that. Um, because if we're careful, uh, we don't really need to. What's that? Still smithing. Our smithing is only twenty-eight. Really. Huh. Okay. Because we want the... We probably want to get all of these, actually. Um, now, it might seem a bit of a waste, but here's the thing. Once we make ourselves a set of each armor and improve said armor to maximum, if we're even going to do that, I mean, I'm probably going to do that, uh, we can then, once this gets to 100% in the skills, we can legendary this, item, uh, this, this skill which resets it back to 15 and gives us all of our perks back and then allows us to start leveling up the skill again which is uh, a really good way to power level your character um, let's go for... No, we're not going to do two handed just yet, let's go back to one handed um, dual wielding attacks, you don't really dual wield, that's the thing uh, power attacks with one handed weapons cost 25 less stamina not overly important to us because we do have a fair amount of stamina for our level uh, one thing to be honest I do find a lot of the perks that you can buy kind of underwhelming there is a mod that completely changes all of the perks but I don't want to get it because eh, it kind of breaks the uh, the game really because some of them are very very powerful um, that's kind of interesting now, bows are going to be a weapon that we probably use a fair amount. So, let's just get that. There we go. Okay. Especially if we're having a subscriber bow. Now, what do we got here? Oh, what is this? I haven't seen this before. Oh, I've seen you before, Lydia. Uh, huh. Spider eggs. Albino spider egg. Huh. Must be native to this uh, hostile land. That's okay. Let's grab up all of this stuff. <coughs> <coughs> I'll apologise for all the coughing and stuff, but you can't really help it. Um, now, let's grab all of that. Uh, let's have a little delve into our quest log. Our uh, journal, if you will. Uh, we've started the Dawn Guard um, quest line as well, whilst I was off camera. Uh, and by starting it. All that entailed was a guard saying, Gee, I hear they're starting up the Dawn Guard. Maybe I should go take a look. And that starts this, so you haven't missed anything. Um, Break of Dawn. Bring. Oh, yeah. Let's continue with that. Because I think that ties in to the. to what the main focus of this place is. But where is her temple? Let's remove yeah that's interesting it doesn't appear to show up on the map unless is there a temple in Skyrim maybe I guess it's possible but I would have thought I guess we could do the grown up thing and yeah mount okay and read it uh, come on we need to bring it to Mount Kilreath. Okay, I don't know where Mount Kilreath is, and it's not actually 
showing up. Yeah, we can't X to show a map either. So in that case, maybe you gotta ask people about it. It's possible. Ah, let's go back to Raven Rock. Uh, another thing I did activate off camera getting back here was there was a load of Ashborn attacking some bloke over here uh, and it popped up saying you know defend this area kill all the ash spawn all the rest of it which I uh, ignored because I wasn't recording so I just ran back to base um, so let's go check that out I mean that has got to be main quest kind of stuff let's grab our bow alright buddy I feel bad for running past you earlier now what is all this about these guys seem pretty tough actually uh, yeah. Yeah, they're way tougher than us with a bow. Come on, Lydia. You'll have to block them with your corpse whilst I chip away. It's just a scratch. Now, you can usually tell how hard an enemy is by how quick Lydia goes down. Um, one of the best uses for her, really. Uh, she's already gone down. But that's okay, because we have two NPCs. Kind <laughs> nice. Oh god, maybe the bow isn't uh, so wonderful here. Um, let's go for frostbite, because I assume these are fire creatures. Uh, unrelenting force, and we'll get our war axe out. Alright, fellas. Just keep you all at bay. Yeah, actually, they're not too bad. Maybe they are all together. Big bastards, but... Okay. They're not stupidly overpowered. I was worried that we were going to have another case of the werebear on us again. But that's okay. Go on you. Take your medicine. And you. There we go. Okay. They don't hit. They hit like sissies. I'm quite glad about that. Ash pile. Declaration of war. Okay. Ah, these guys are like made out of... Um, like orcish arrows. Um, interesting. Different ores. Spawn ash. Okay. Kind of intrigued. Alright, let's go see that dude that we just saved. Alright, buddy. Hey, you. Thanks. I wasn't sure I'd make it off this farm alive. Well, you did, bud. I wish I could have said the same for my man here. Some of the Redoran Guard have taken to calling them Ash Spawn. Me, I don't care what they're called. All I know is they're a danger to Raven Rock and they need to be stopped. Okay. How did that bring you to this old farm? I was going to search for clues that might lead me to wherever they're coming from. I see. I know it isn't the best place to start, but we know they've been coming from this direction. Right. Uh, I'll be glad to lend you a hand. I can lend you a hand for a price. Seems like a waste of time to me. <laughs> How could that be a waste of time? I'll be glad to lend you a hand. Good. I can use all the help I can get. Besides, I don't feel comfortable leaving Raven Rock behind. And I'd hate to lose any more Redoran Guard. Mm-hmm. Very well. Where do I begin? We were searching the farm when the Ash Spawn ambushed us. Have a look around and see if you can turn up anything useful. Okay. I discovered this note. This is strange. The note says it's from General Falk's Carius, but that's impossible. How so? Well, Carius was the Imperial Garrison Commander at Fort Frostmouth, but he died over 200 years ago when the Red Mountain leveled the place. There's huh. no way he could still be alive. What do you want me to do? If General Carius is still alive. There must be something keeping him that way. Yes. I need you to head out to Fort Frostmouth and check it out. I'm going to head back to Raven Rock and prepare the men for further assaults. Okay, sounds like a plan. Uh, what are these ash spawns? No one knows, really. Superstitious folks say they're the risen forms of those that died long ago. But I'm not so certain. Mm. They started attacking the bulwark a few weeks ago. My men were able to kill them, but they keep coming back. How often do they attack? We've had two other assaults on the bulwark, at different spots on the wall. I know it sounds crazy, but it's almost like they're becoming more organized and probing it for weaknesses. Hmm. You suspect there's a motivation to their attacks. Exactly. Something has to be directing them against us. Uh -huh. We need to find out who or what it is. I see. 
Uh, do you know someone? Oh, yes, that's the actual main quest. Uh, I might know someone, or maybe not. I can't remember. Just tell me if you know him. I, I can't. I just can't be sure. I think maybe he had something to do with a temple, a, a, a temple here on the island. Does that help? Kind of. Uh, how is... Ah, yes, because we saved and reopened the uh, mines. I've had to muster some more men to protect the mine, but I don't really have a problem with that. Second Councillor Arano is concerned that once word reaches the Reavers that the mine has reopened, they might think about paying us a visit. Mm. I say let them try. My men are ready for them. Good, good, good. Okay. Be careful. This General Curious sounds out of his mind. Yes. Sorry about that, guys. Nicky's just left for work. Right. So, we've got to look for something a little bit funky. Oh, I also sold our pickaxe. So, we only have the, like, awesome super pickaxe. Bone mole. Ooh. That looks a little bit different, doesn't it? We'll have that. Eh, not really a fan of the design of that. It's kind of got, like, a weird alien head. Um... We'll take the elven bow and the elven sword. He can keep his clothes. We'll take the ash yam. Oi, Lydia. You I've got your back. can actually... I, am I keep forgetting that we can trade presence. stuff with her. It's actually, like, really bloody handy. Uh, what has she got on her? We're going to take... That off her. Thank you. I like the way she just wears her other armor underneath. Of course she does. Um, and then she can have this other more badass looking bone mold pauldron armor. There we go. There we go. Um, so is that all different then? No, no, no. Just that main piece. Fair enough. Right. Let's have a little look in here. Uh, ooh. Empty. Alright, Lydia. Shout if you see anything. Tamara root. Now, ooh, might as well harvest these. I... Now, we're not going to pick up the yams because they are pointless. They heal us like something like two points of health. Really is no point in it at all. Uh, what do we have? Let's take that though. Any alchemical ingredients is good. Right. Come on, Lydia. This way. There is trouble ahead. Apparently. At least that's what Matey Boy said. He could have been making it up. Could just be some drunk guard. Ooh, hello. It's over here on this ship. Now this... I doubt has anything to do with our quest, but... It looks important. That's usually a good sign. Right, come on, Lydia. This w Ooh, hello. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Alright. Let's get serious. More Reavers. Well, that's okay. Let's just cook this guy's ass. Cook him with ice. Yes, yes, because that makes perfect sense. Uh, take the gold. Fur armor. Come on, guys. Ooh, Reaver Lord. <laughs> You'll have to get these boots off my dead body, buddy. And I have a lot of food. However, he looks bloody hard, actually. Ow. Have a bit of this. There you go. Yeah, not your average chump, am I? Right, let's cut this guy in half. He looks badass. He looks like he's in this full uh, chichen armor. Enough? Did you just say enough after threatening to take my boots? Doesn't work like that, chump. Huh. 86 armor. And an orcish war axe. I don't I don't think orcish stuff is better than ebony. But we'll have a look. Um Right, so our armor is 26. That was the main piece. So that does 70. Not that that's what we're wearing. That is 86. So that is actually better. Not as good as our ebony. Alright, Lydia, I got no armor for you. But 
We can sort that out in a minute. Right, you. Waste of space. <laughs> oh, it's too easy. Come on, guys. Oh, God. Now, remember, you attacked me. Oh, these are highwaymen. Okay. Uh, let's just eat up. Ooh, God. It actually restores health, so we might as well eat it because it weighs a hell of a lot. There we go. That was like 21 in weight. You're gonna, we're gonna pay for this, are we? Really? Who's gonna make us pay for this? You. Oh, that's very, very kind of you, sir. Well, I'm not gonna kill you quickly. Uh, well, I kind of guess we did kill him relatively quickly. How's it going, Lydia? Any more of these turds left? Oh, baked potatoes, gold, goat. Uh, iron da Really, sir? Surprised you could kill the local wildlife with this stuff. Leather armor. That's probably the best we're going to find around here. Leather bloody armor. Fucking yeah. Um, get some healing. There we go. Right. So what do we have? Ah, this is that ash heart stuff. Heartstone. Do I really not have a cup of coffee? Damn it. Note to self. Always put the kettle on before recording. Dum bum, ba dum bum, ba dum bum. Oh man, isn't it amazing how like music can just transport you completely to another time? It's just amazing stuff. Right, where are you gone? Okay, fair enough. Oh ooh, Jesus, he's trying to spin me out. Still here. Yep, you are. Now, we are going to need you to wear this armor. Now, okay, bear with me. It doesn't look fantastic, but it will help you live a little bit longer. Uh, I'll have that. That. Was it the hell? I can't remember. I think we got all of it. There we go. Uh, now, you can have uh, that. That, that, and that. Well. Uh, you look like a monster, but that's fine. Now, we're going to have to go back and sell some of this armor. I'll probably do that off camera. <coughs> uh, right. Okay. So, I wonder what's in the hold of this ship. It's got to be something. Ooh. Coin purses. Always handy. Some apples. Apples are really good as well. I wonder if they did actually have any treasure here. A book. Amulet of the Kings. Don't think. Nope, that's not an important one. Uh, oh, Elven Helmet. We'll have it and sell it. Oh boy, we have an expert. But that's okay. I think I have a potion for that. Uh, let's just look in our big bag of potions. Um, hmm. Water walking. Very handy. I wish I'd known about those last video. Uh... <coughs> I'm sure. Ah, there we go. 20% easier. Nothing to write home about. Uh, we didn't want the kettle, but that's fine. Damn. Hopefully, this will make things a little bit easier. Come on, let's just find the biting point. Now, I'm not sure if that timer ticks down whilst we're actually picking the lock. I've got a feeling it doesn't. Because time is kind of paused when you're in a menu or when you're picking locks, something like that. Come on, bugger. Now, one thing to note about Morrowind, actually. I did fire it up uh, the other day, because I've got it on Steam. And one thing that I'd completely forgotten about it is there is no fast travel. There's absolutely no fast travel at all in that game. Uh, or quick travel, anything like that. You can't even get mounts or horses. The only thing you have in that game is there are these massive bug creatures called stilt striders. And you can pay to kind of quick travel between certain cities. And there's only certain cities. So, yeah, doing an LP of that game, there'll be a lot that would have to be cut out. Where is this? Somewhere around here. There we go. 
Right. Emerald, flawless amethyst, gold. Ha! Huh. Not really anything that useful in there. Damn pirate treasure. Oh, hey, Bonesy. Nine gold. Where was he holding that nine gold? I mean, honestly. Now, I get. Oh, hello. We can actually go underneath that. We'll do that in a minute. Morrowind had a lot of, like, ships as well off the coast. They're all, um, sunk. Uh, and it was really cool to just go exploring. <coughs> I never actually completed the game, to be honest. Um, but. Eh, let's have a look. We'll take that, 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 that. All of those. Leave those. We'll take that. Yeah, I never completed Morrowind, I don't think. I can't remember. But I did put over 400 hours into it, doing mostly exploring and the <laughs> lusty Argonian made Folo. Huh. Okay. Ah. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, that is a, a quest that we got. Interesting. Elven Acts of Despair. <coughs> Creatures and people up to level 13 flee from combat. That's rubbish. Staff of the Healing Hand. That's handy. Increases your magic. Yeah, handy, handy. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Uh, steel Arrow. One. Apple Cabbage Soup. Probably quite cold. Yuck. Right. I'm pretty sure. Oh, yes. Uh, couldn't we used to break these down? I thought certain like damaged planks could be knocked down. Maybe not. Maybe it's only in very select dungeons. Right now, where was the? Where was it? There we go. Right. Ooh. I actually, like see right through the ship. Alright, let's grab some air and go back down. Alright, Lydia, this way. Now, I don't think there's a skill that governs uh, the amount of air you have. I think you always ha you can hold your breath for the same amount of time. I might be wrong on that, I'm not 100% sure. Hmm. So, they're the actual original occupants, I would say. Apple, ooh, take that, that. Eh, no real point in that. You know what, I will take things like that because <coughs> pretty much anything we can enchant and it does actually get our skill up. And it also means you can make a lot more money selling that item then. Uh, another mod I have, um, I will update the mod list when I can. One of the mods uh, greatly improves how a lot of the shops look. Uh, and I'd actually forgotten about that mod until I walked into one of the, the shops in um, uh, Winterhold. No, it wasn't Winterhold. I can't remember what city it was now. It's a couple of days ago. And it looked freaking amazing in comparison. It just completely changes like the way the shop looks inside and makes it look less like a dump and more like a uh, shop. Um, I'll show you some examples when we get back to Skyrim. Oh god. Come on, baby. Give me something good. No! Oh, that was my favourite one. How about there? Oh, just a little bit, a little bit. There we go. Uh, oh, we've got five lock picks. Totally not worth it. Right, okay. Now, I had an interruption there. So I'm not 100% sure how long this video is. But I'm going to end it here. Actually, you know what we're going to do? I should stop doing this because it makes the videos really long. Um, but let's just go back to Raven Rock and hand that woman her book. We're going to have a little read of it first because if it's the book I think it is, it's quite funny. And by re I'm probably not going to read it because my, my throat is killing me. But uh, we can skim over it. Let's have a look. Here we are. Lusty Argonian Maid. Uh, let's see how long it is. 
Uh, yeah, I guess it's not that long. Right. To the Artono family, when I showed up on your doorstep in Morrowind that day, I expected to be thrown back into the streets and cast aside like some sort of vermin. Instead, you offered me into the warmth and safety of your home. For that, I will be eternally grateful. Please accept this rare folio edition of my work as a sign of appreciation for your kindness. Ha. Huh. Act. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah. Okay. Lifts her tail. Certainly not kind, sir. I am here to clean your chambers. So her name is Lifts Her Tail. Ha. Huh. Uh, is that all you have come here for, little one? My chambers? I have no idea uh, what it is you imply, Master. I am but a poor Argonian maid. So you are, my dumpling, and a good one at that. Such strong legs and shapely tail. Uh, you embarrass me, sir. Fear not, you're safe here with me. <laughs> I must finish my cleaning, sir. The mistress uh, will have my head if I do not. Cleaning, eh? I have something for you here. Polish my spear. Uh, um, but it is huge. It could take all night. Plenty of time, my sweet. Plenty of time. Um, lifts her tail. My goodness, that is quite a loaf. But however shall I fit it in my oven? <laughs> oh, this loaf isn't ready for baking, my sweet. Shut up, timer. Uh, it has yet to rise. If only we could hurry that along. How would I accomplish such a task? Ah, my foolish little Argonian maid. You must use your hands. You wish me to knead the loaf? Here? Of course. But what would the mistress? But what if the mistress catches me? Your loaf was qu meant to satisfy her appetite. Uh, don't fret, my delicious flower. I'll satisfy the, mit um, the mistress's cravings later. Very well. But I am afraid my oven is not hot enough. It could take hours. Plenty of time, my sweet. Plenty of time. Um. Yeah. Well. Interesting reading, is it not? Uh, now. What? What the hell's going on? Okay. We may have walked into something. What the hell is going on up here? Oh, shite. Hello. More ash spawn. Well, that's okay. Let's give him a little bit of frostbite. Come on, buddy. There you go. Got the cure. Ah, who the hell is attacking me? These guys attacking me. Why? But 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 what? What what the hell did I do? I'm not quite sure what I did or why these guys are attacking me. Um That's kind of annoying. Can you piss off? We have bigger things to worry about than me, surely. <laughs> Idiots. Ah, did I possibly... Um, Lydia, seriously, it's not... Lydia, no, it's it, it's not worth it. Let me run away. And see... Uh, if they're going to forget about me. Hopefully they will. I don't really want to... Oh, wow. I don't really want to murder all the guards if I can help it. I'm not 100% sure what happened there. I'll have to watch the video back. Um, but, if I have to make an educated guess, I would say that I accidentally hit one of the guards. Ooh. Hey, buddy. That does into, uh, illustrate a big problem with the way um, the Bethesda games works, though. It's very, very difficult to not accidentally uh, hit people you're supposed to be fighting with. Oh, bloody hell, look at them. That's okay. <coughs> we have plenty of uh, time to kill these guys. Now, I'm hoping that if I wait, Lydia will regroup with me. Um, that's if she hasn't pretty much wiped out the town. What the hell's going on? It's almost like they're running off to somewhere then. 
Okay. Die, you little shits. Now, hopefully, I'll be able to wait here. Oh, God. What is it now? You! I thought there was one of you guys left. Right. Now, that went about as badly as it could have done. Hey, Lydia. You finished murdering everybody over there. Uh, you look ridiculous. Uh, it's true. Sorry. Right, let's go back and see if we can apologize to the guards. I really wish there was a better system of doing that. But there really isn't. Now I know I know somehow you can apologize to the guards, but it doesn't always work. Uh, for instance, if they're already attacking you because you can yield somehow. Um Oh, there's more of these guys. I can't fight you all, guys. I think we're going to have to end the video here. Uh just for the sake of time, and then when we come back, we're going to have to try and apologize to everybody. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it guys. I'm gonna try next video to patch things up with the guards Yeah, that could be interesting and when we come back We'll kill these guys and give that woman her book. So thanks for watching guys and until next time